Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. There will be another intro to this vlog that you will see after this clip but I wanted to film this clip because I actually filmed the footage to this vlog almost a month ago but I do really enjoy the footage so I still wanted to put together this vlog and then I also told you guys that I would uh, put like put up this vlog in my Roulette Pan collab finale. There has happened some big things like big changes in my life or like well, I'm gonna tell you about them in another video uh, because I'm actually about to film another video that where I will tell you more about it. But also, I haven't really addressed the Black Lives Matter movement in any of my videos yet. And I know I'm late in doing this, but I think it's still a topic that we everyone still needs to talk about and educate yourselves or like ourselves on. So I still wanted to mention it in this video. I'm not going to talk too much about it here in the intro because I don't want to make this about me. But if you want to educate your more, if you want to educate yourself more, there will be some links in my description box to some websites, and there will also be some petitions that you can sign um, or that you should sign. And then at the end of this video, I will talk a little bit more about what I'm doing, basically. So yeah, let's get into the vlog. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, or today is going to, today's video, I say that every time. Today is going to be the third weekend in a row, I believe, that I start a vlog. So I filmed kind of this clip for a vlog every single weekend the past three week weekends. Uh, and then I kind of, that's the only thing I filmed, so I, I kind of stopped filming after that first clip. So yeah, today we're gonna hope, or this weekend we're gonna hope that we <laughs> get through the entire weekend vlogging. So I don't have any like grand plans for this weekend. I haven't done like a list yet. Maybe we'll do that. I just kind of want to do some fun things this weekend and hopefully film. As I said, I don't have a ton of plans, but today I am going to... It's called after work in Sweden, which is funny because it's actually called after work, like two English words. But I don't think that is something you say in other countries. So basically what that is, is like, I think you can say like happy hour. Like you just go out with your colleagues and you have, you just grab some beers and then before you go home in the evening. But because of this corona situa situation, we're gonna have like a like outside after work so we're gonna go to a park and we all we are all gonna grab like everyone's gonna bring their own blanket and then we will put up or like a, we will make a circle of blankets and then everyone will sit on their own blanket and so we're gonna have like an after work like that so yeah i'm really excited it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully we will be there for a few hours and the weather will continue being nice it's been amazing weather all day and then like now basically some uh, like clouds are rolling in but hopefully it's not gonna rain it's just gonna be kind of cloudy but yeah i thought i would start filming now just because i'm gonna do my makeup so this is gonna be kind of like a before and after so this is my before i just kind of put on some uh, tan uh, i tried a new tan i can give you like a review of that tan at the end of this weekend if i liked it so far i really like it because it doesn't have a really strong scent like the scent is very mild um and it has like a coconut scent and i feel like the color looks good as well so yeah so far so good so yeah i'm gonna sit down to do my makeup and then yeah and here is the after so now i'm actually going to go down to the park right outside my house we decided to uh pick the park outside of my house because then people can go up and use our uh, bathroom <laughs> if they need to go to the bathroom uh so yeah Hopefully I can get some footage out there, we might play some games. Hi guys, it's now much later. I did get a tiny bit of footage or like we played a game and I got some footage of the game we played. But I feel like I need to kind of explain the rules <laughs> before I include that footage. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then I will include that footage. But I had a really nice evening, it's currently half past 11 so we're gonna go to sleep and I feel like because it's not super late, I will be able to wake up pretty early tomorrow and just get some things done. I need to kind of plan out what I need to or what I want to do tomorrow and on Sunday. Maybe tomorrow I would like to film my empties video and then on Sunday I would like to film my panel palette update so that I can get that up early next week. And yeah, I need to go to or I want to go to Stable and yeah. 
was in for day one of this vlog. This was not very interesting. I can't remember, like, just because I I did like one weekend vlog and then I started a few vlogs and I can't remember what I talked about in like the start. We'll put you here. So I can't remember what I talked about in the start of those vlogs that I didn't talk about in the real vlog, but I can give you some updates. So in the vlog that I posted, I talked about that I wanted to kind of refill with my bed sheets and my towels and I have done that. And I also talked about dyeing my hair. That was super long ago. I did dye my hair, so I guess it looks okay. Like it's almost started growing out again. I still haven't done the thing where I put on like 10 outfits and then post on Instagram. So maybe we'll do that. But when we video that I might film also either tomorrow or on Sunday, like when I have my makeup on, I might film one where I kind of prioritize my like makeup, um, like the order when I do my makeup. So like if I can only do one thing, what would I do? If I can only do two things. What will be the next thing I add? Like if I can only do three things or have time to do three things, like if I can only do four things and I think I might post that and or like film that and post that and if that's up I will link that in my description box so you can go and check it out. But yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm pretty tired right now so I'm gonna go to sleep and then I will see you tomorrow. Hello! <laughs> So it's now Saturday and it's actually 22, 22, so it's not in the morning anymore. Uh, I'm not very good at vlogging in the morning, so yeah, I just kind of gave up on that. So yeah, it's now 22, I just filmed my empties videos, uh, videos, video, like I talked about yesterday that I wanted to do. So it's a mess on my desk right now, hopefully you can see it. I need to clean that up when I get home. Uh, but basically, I told you yesterday that I wanted to talk more about the, kind of, the game that we played. So, it was four when I went out to the park and met up with my co-workers and then we just sat there and kind of just had a nice time. And just, I was drinking some cider and we also had some, like some had Prosecco and we had Kava. Uh, and then we had some pizza, we ordered pizza uh, and picked that up and ate in the park and it was really nice and then we played two games. So one of the games is called Coop, it's well, like a Swedish tradition and I think it's like a, if you google like Swedish traditions, it will be like one kind of dance we do around like a midsummer's pole, like when we have a midsummer's party, which I had last year. I can pop up a picture and then also <laughs> playing coop because we do that a lot in Sweden like every time we have a party outside we basically play coop. A coop is a game where you have uh, six like sticks that you hold in your hands and then you have I think it's five like blocks of wood like are like a, a bit bigger than this uh, and they put them uh, like on your side and then because you have like a field and then they will put up their five cup like uh, blocks <laughs> on their side and then in the center you have like a king it's called it's like a bigger block which is the king and then you're supposed to uh, like you take turns throwing the six kind of sticks or like what did I call them poles <laughs> uh, throw them uh, and you want to topple the blocks on the other side and then if you topple one they can throw it uh, like past the king the, it has to be past the king uh, but they want it as close as possible to the king um, and then if uh, then it's if they topple a block on our side then we will throw it and it will land as close to the king as possible but still on like their half of the field and then we will try and um, we will try and topple that one and if we can't then they can move forward so that is now their starting point from where they can throw the sticks or like the whatever we can call them sticks <laughs> uh, throw them and then they can topple ours and then that is much easier because it's much closer and then uh, when you like topple all of the blocks uh, on the other team side then you will try to uh, topple the king and <laughs> so I have some footage Oh, how you do that yesterday, like Mula is going to demonstrate how you do. So you stand and then you have to throw like with your butt against the, or like 
towards the king and then you have to throw the sticks in between your legs and it's actually much harder than it looks it's usually not that hard so they actually sucked quite a bit like yesterday because they won but it took like three turn like like three like three times six sticks to <laughs> actually topple the king so yeah that was a bit funny but we had a lot of fun and then we also did a game where we all had to write down on small pieces of paper like something like a substance is, is it called substance no i don't know you have to write down three things on three pieces of paper like one thing which is something you do and then something like a thing and then uh something that describes something <laughs> i can't remember the words in like adjective verbs and substantive is that is that it's like that's what they are in Swedish I don't know if that's the same but anyways so you write that down and then in the first round you have two different teams so one team will in the first round they will uh, choose one person to draw like pull a piece of paper and then describe what is on the paper but not using that word and then the other people in the team have to guess and then you do that for all of the pieces of paper in the box or whatever where you, wherever you pick them all of the pieces of paper and then the next round you have to describe what is on the paper using charades so you do like body movements to show what, what is on the paper and then you do all of that and then the next round like you do you have 45 seconds to do it so like for each round the two teams will do at least one round i guess like going backwards and forwards like for, for 45 seconds and then in the last round you can only use one word to describe the paper and then your team have to guess and we lost by like one point so it was super super even and it was really fun it's a really fun game to do if you're like just sitting around so definitely recommend that but now i'm going to go to the stable i'm going to remove my lashes i might actually go because i have some shoes that i would like to donate to like a thrift store so i might go by the thrift store and donate the shoes uh, because they are in my car and taking a lot, up a lot of space so i need to do that and then i'm going to go to the stable and i'm going to uh, stay there for a while because I need to clean out her field as usual and also ride and then I would like to wash some of my I don't know what they are called like blankets that you keep under the saddle to keep the saddle clean I guess um, I need to wash those and also some like bandages that you have around <laughs> I need to look up words in English for like writing or I, I need to watch like stable vlogs or something to get like the words for all of the different things that you do in the stable but yeah I'm gonna clean or like wash those so it might take a while but I hope to get some footage like in the stable I think that would be fun so yeah that is the plan and then this evening uh, I'm probably just gonna go home shower and then in the evening we're gonna go to some friends and we're gonna have some barbecue and then we're gonna play some board games so hopefully I can get I usually don't get footage when I hang out with them but hopefully today I will or I use or like when we went hiking that was with them so yeah I might get some footage I might not I think we might play either uh, like a Harry Potter game which is like a, a cooperative game which is super fun or we might play we also have a Lord of the Rings game which is also a cooperative game uh, which is a lot more complicated and it's fun but it's like we haven't played it for a while so it might take a while for us to get into it so we also need to check how far they are in the book because we have a book club and both me and Lika have finished the book so we need to speed them up to finish the book so we can have a book club meeting but yeah Let's just go to the stable. I didn't get any good footage in the stable, but Vicky has promised to come with me to the stable tomorrow, so then maybe we can get some good footage when I'm riding, and then I can include that in the vlog tomorrow. Uh, but now <laughs> we are in the car, as you can tell, and we are on our way to our friends uh, to have some barbecue. We're gonna barbecue some tuna. Så jag tar upp något konstmärke då. Är det vitlöken? 
Den blev inte så bra så jag satte en pump och, och den sallade, men jag vet inte var den kommer ifrån när den har hamnat där. Dill, ser ni. Jordrättskoppor. Godrätter. Mm, nice. Persilja. Bålak. Och här är mina försök med äppelgrundstammar. Mm -hmm. Ah, snyggt. Det här, de ser lite risiga ut, men det är faktiskt kikärtor. Mm. Det är lite coolt, det är första gången. Och lite mer pumpor. Mer morötter. Här. Mm. här är ju koriander som ni ser och lite misslyckad druckola. Så jag stoppar ner en pumpa där också. <laughs> morötter som är vintersådda. Ser ni vilken skillnad i hur långt de har kommit? Uh -huh. Det De är liksom vårsådda som man gör vanligt och det här är mm. vintersått. Jordgubbar. Oh, Hålet spännande. Och bondbärnor. En annan bondbärna med väldigt fin färg, mm. eller hur? Ja. Mm. Och sockerärtor som också är jättefina. De har ju inte börjat ge något, men de är så himla tjusiga. Den är kol i hela denna länge under nätet. Massa olika sorter. Mm. Och sen så är det... Kolrabbi och majrova och lök. Och så lite blommor bakom. Och det här är och de här rotsalin, också väldigt fin, eller hur? Mm. <laughs> och det här är nytt för i år, svartrot. Mm -hmm. Och så det är också grått fint. Och mer sockerärtor. Och så är det mer morötter. Och lite hallon. Lök, pak choy, färnkål, färnkålsallad. Och så är det lök och betor. Öfter och kronerskockor. Det är det. Och så har vi sått på gräs. Sjukt mm. <laughs> Ja. Vad var det för växthus? Jo, vi kan gå dit. Är det här vanliga solling? Är hon imponerad av din? Det. <laughs> det är som mina saker har kommit. Åh oh, jäklar, det är ju jäklar. proppsigt ut. Ah. Ja, jag tänkte ju att ni hade... Ja, ah, jäklar. Alltså att ni bara lät en studsmatisk stämning Jaha, stå. Ja, nej, alltså Vanja monterat isär alla delarna och sen satt ihop det till detta liksom. Sik. Jag tror det var en sån liten, liten studsmatta. Ja. Shit. Så det är Vanjas sida och det här är min sida. Åh, wow. Men... Jag ner några på de dog i frosten. De där inne till exempel. Men titta, den här ser ju glad ut. Och så lite basilika jag satt här. Och så aubergine. Så där är godskor. Men de, de har också varit för att lösna. De blev brända i solen. Mm. Så där. Och så har vi en massa baksidan också. <laughs> ja, det här har vi byggt. <laughs> Men det har ju redan gått så. Alltså man får ju liksom lappa ihop det lite allt eftersom. Ska det vara... Ja, det kan vara. Så här då är det Vanjas. De här tre är mina. Här är tomater och så är det gurka, gurka tomat, gurka tomat, gurka tomat. Och här är tomater och så är det lite vaxbärnor inemellan. Mm. Och här är skors och tomat varannan. Och där är Vanjas kål. Trevligt. Här blir ju lite kämpigt med ogräs tror jag. För vi har liksom inte riktigt träffat idag innan vi bara slängde mm. ner allt. Kommer hästarna här? Ja, så kommer de stå och prata med hästarna. De har ju varit jättenyfikna när ni höll på här. Ja, ja, de var här hela tiden. De brukar ibland komma när de här är såna här. Men nu har de i sig göttigt långt här för dem. Mm. Jag känner så socialt. Ja. <laughs> här var liksom gamla trädgårdsländet så hela det här var helt övervuxet så jag och Johannes och Vanja har röjt det. Oh, nice. Men så här var liksom, det var lite bär, det här är krusbär och sånt som var kvar liksom från när Vanja var liten. Det här, ni ser det är så här litet staket och vi har dratt upp det mesta av det men det var liksom trädgårds när man var liten men nu var det helt övervuxet. Och så här vildvin, ni ser vildvinet härjar ju här inne. Mm. Och det, det är här inne också. Vanjas kronutskottor, de är väldigt fina. Mm. 
Impressive. Ja, väldigt imponerande. Det var synd att, inte, för att inte vi kunde köpa den i Eslöv så du kunde komma och fixa i vårt. Ja. <laughs> det hade ju varit kul alltså. Ja. Och hade vi kunnat göra en sån riktig storodling så att ni var helt självförsörjande på vissa saker. Ja. Alltså verkligen. De hade ju en massa potatis för. Ja. Ja. Det är så lätt att odla potatis. Alltså, wow. Vi får ta en bil härifrån också. Ja, det är väldigt fint här när man liksom kommer upp för... Ni kommer ju aldrig denna vägen. Nej. Ja, det är det här. Ja, precis. Igår kan jag satt liksom ute på stora balkongen hela kvällen. Vi gråter. Ja, du är nöjd. Det här är jag aldrig olätt. Här är min hörn. Ja, mest. De stora. Och så plantor på gång. Lite allt möjligt. Kolplantor som jag inte har någon plats för, men som jag inte har hjärta att slänga för mig så fina. Så jag tänkte att jag får det. Helt enorm vin. Ja, den är en massa. Den ser ut att må bra i år också. Det var någon lax med rannstöttmässor som är galet hur god. Mm. Ja. Jag, jätte... jag plockar jättemycket rannsvärtna för oss, jag har redan fiten förut. Men jag tyckte det var lite svårt att använda. Jag tyckte inte heller att det smakade så mycket. Jag börjar brinna lite. Ja. Tycker du att den högtalaren låter konstigt? Ja. <laughs> Hej hunden! Hej! Hej hunden! Så vi har tuna, potato wedges, some sour cream, vad heter persilja? Uh, parsley. Par with some parsley and then some greens from the garden and vad sa vi att det är vita va? Majrova. I will put it. Nej. No, it's not turning. I will put it on the screen. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Hello. Hello. And here's our dinner view. Nu är det det här. Mm. Mm. Yes. Nej. Nej, jag har jag fått en gång. Mm. Är det en uh, plopp? Sorry about that, men jag ska också ta bort den. Ja. Uh, här är det att jag förlorar den, eller? Mm. If there are two or more, yes. Då får jag ett hjärta. Är det där att jag ska lyfta ett kort fortfarande? Mm. Om det är värt något? Mm. Det var det inte. Bridge ally in hand. We had a lovely time last night, so now uh, it is the day after and we are on our way to the stable. And I didn't tell you about today's plans yesterday, I think. But now we're gonna go to the stable and then we're gonna go home and just kind of shower. And then we're gonna go to a friend um, for fika, which is like a Swedish thing. Uh, fika is a Swedish word, but I feel like we're spreading it around the world as well as when you have some coffee and sometimes you might have some like with pastries or some cookies or something like that um, and then tonight maybe I will film I need to I would like to post the video tonight the one that I filmed yesterday and then I would like to post the video on Tuesday so I either need to film it tonight Monday or Tuesday so yeah but I'm hoping we'll get some footage from the stable as well so see you there <laughs>
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that footage of my vlog, 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 <laughs> of my vlog, and let's just close it out. And as I said in the beginning, I want to talk a little bit about the Black Lives Matter movement here in my video. And I mentioned this a little bit in the beginning, but between listening to me talk about it and finding someone else, maybe like an own voices, a black person telling you about it, I think that is what you should do. You shouldn't listen to me, but if you want to kind of, I don't know. I think it's good to hear everyone talk about it. That is basically what this movement needs about. We all need to stand up for the black community. I think as a white person, um, living in Sweden, I definitely have, or like, I definitely unknowingly, like, experience a lot of white privilege, and I think that my, I'm sorry, you can hear, um, it's probably an ambulance outside, but I think, because my kind of knee-jerk reaction when all of this started is that I live in Sweden, there's not a lot of racism here in Sweden, and that is wrong. So the first thing I wanted to do was educate myself on racism here in Sweden and in Europe and what I can do because in Sweden there's not a lot of uh, police brutality there's not a lot of like shootings or anything like that there's nothing wrong like there's nothing corrupt or wrong with the police um, in my opinion at least I think there are people in Sweden that say it's differently um, but yeah, we don't have any like shootings or anything like that so I think it was a little bit hard to relate to the movement in the beginning um, but then I wanted to educate myself on what it's like here in Sweden, so I started following uh, two new accounts, one which is called Action for, Human hum Action for Humanity underscore SE, uh, because she's a black person living in Sweden and talking a lot about how that is, like how it is to live in Sweden and the racism that, racism that she encounters in her everyday life, and also she speaks up a lot about kind of this cis thematic racism in Sweden as well and then I also follow an account that is called black or like Svart Historia so black history but in Swedish uh, on Instagram to also like because I think it's it's a part of history that gets very uh, kind of put under a lid like you don't talk about you don't talk about when you talk about a, a scientist you talk about all the good things they did and you t don't talk about them like having slaves or like doing bad things to black people um so they educate everyone a lot about that and i think that's very good so i did start to follow those and i think that's really good because one thing i realized on black tuesday was that i don't follow like my feed was completely empty a lot of the people i follow are white um, a little bit I think in like the makeup community I think it's because like I mainly follow makeup accounts and that's just because I can kind of relate to the products they're using uh, but I definitely set out to fix that so that I don't only have like white people on my feed and then on YouTube I follow mostly like I follow all of my panning friends but I also follow a lot of like science channels and they are also all only hosted by white people uh, so I did start to follow a, a podcast that is called Drop Labs I haven't I started listening to a, one episode a little bit but I haven't had a lot of time to to really listen into it but I will leave that in my description box if you are interested in sci science as well and want to check that out yeah and basically what all of these things um, like educating myself and also following more accounts on Instagram and it's basically what this all like kind of boils down to is to be a better ally and I definitely want to I, I kind of consider myself um, like standing up like in the past I know I've stood up against like racism that I've heard that like someone spoken to me but with being more educated I know that I can do that more to be a better like ally and this is something that I want to definitely improve. Another thing that I've done is that I am in, like, I am in STEM, so I have a background in, like, engineering and science, uh, or, like, a degree in uh, science and engineering, and so I think education is very important, so I have donated to a organization that is called Black Girls Code, because I think that education is very important, and even in the system we have in Sweden today, it's very unfair, because you have, uh, like, a lot of, basically you have, it, 
there's not a ton of black people living in Sweden, but like non white people um, or like people of color, we have a lot of different like immigrants of like first generation, second generation here in Sweden. And unfortunately, there are a lot of like areas where they live a lot of like white people. And then um, there are a lot of areas where they live, where they live more like people of colors. Uh, pe people of color, people of color, and so the basically the the system here is that you pay tax, and then you pay tax to uh, the area that you live, and so like schools in areas where you have more white people, because usually white people earn more money, so they will pay more tax, and then so schools in those areas will get more funding, and then schools in other areas where they live uh, more like low income people, they those schools will not get as much money, and that will kind of, yeah, I think just saying that like money will help in education is kind of, very basic but I think that's very true that if a school gets less money then they can have then they will have less teachers like less teacher per pupil and that's uh, like science has said that that's not a good thing so I think that um, like donating to organizations that help uh, with educate like education in um, kind of low-income areas I think is really good and another thing that I'm doing is that I have been a mentor for a mentee that she was a 13 year old girl living in an area which is more like a, a kind of people of color or like more low-income like area in Sweden and so I was a mentor for her and then I could like meet up with or like I met up with her and we could talk about like experience that she had and she had she had asked like questions like how how I handle being like angry or like if someone is racist to her if I have any like tips on how to kind of handle that anger and I was like mm, I need to get back on you on that one so I definitely know that racism is a thing in Sweden and I think if you have the opportunity to be a mentor I really think you should do it in here in Sweden or like in Skåne where I live in South of Sweden there is a organization called Drivkraft and they you can just kind of hit them up on their website and then they will kind of select a mentee for you and I think that is a very very nice thing to do if you have the opportunity or if you have the time but yeah, as I said, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I think you should definitely go and check out the resources that I have in my description box. And yeah, let's just close out this vlog <laughs> on a more lighter note. I did tell you in the beginning that of this vlog that I might do a review of the Beef Perfect 10 Second Tan. The, I chose the medium and the coconut scent and I can tell you that it's supposed to be like a 10 second tan so you put it on and then it's supposed to dry and in 10 seconds so you're just supposed to just be able to leave the house I had a little bit of trouble with that because I was sweating a little bit it was really hot outside so it looked really weird like I usually sweat a little bit beneath my boobs and so it looked kind of weird underneath like on my tummy like the upper part of my tummy just because I had been sweating under my boobs and then it, it in the beginning when I put it on it had a really pleasant scent it didn't like smell like self tanner but then after a few hours like six or so so hours it did start to smell like a self tan so I don't know like it didn't do what it was supposed it, it still it left like a, I got a nice color or like it left like a nice color uh, and it did fade nicely like very gradually um, but I don't think that it works the way it should like I will still use it as like a time where I put it on before I go to bed and then I wash it off in the morning but I don't think I will use it as like a 10 second time like just before I go out so yeah that was the review of that one as well and yeah that was it for this video Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.